Good afternoon friends, welcome to the mid market review. A friend, nothing major happening in the index as such as the Nifty is trading slightly below 5650, is trading down by around 5 points at 5645 and the Sensex is trading down by around 25 points. On the global two, on the global front too, nothing much happening as Europe has just opened slightly in the red whereas other Asian markets too are trading quite uh, flat as of now. On the stock specific counters, fertilizer stocks are showing a lot of momentum as the cabinet has approved the direct uh, urea subsidy transfer and they've also approved uh, a hike in urea prices by around 50 rupees per ton. So based on this news, all fertilizer stocks like Chambal Fertilizers, RCF, Deepak Fertilizers, all are trading up by around 5-6% to 6 as of now. Uh, friends, uh, real estate stocks had taken quite some beating yesterday and uh, they've shown you know, a good uh, pullback today as shares of DLF and HDL both are up by around 1-2%. to Whereas Unitech is up around 10% on news that it is uh, uh, close to settle its ongoing dispute with uh, its telecom partner that is Uninor. Uh, FMCG stocks uh, uh, like HUL and ITC both had gained around 1% in the early trade uh, but uh, uh, gradually they have both uh, you know, wiped out these gains and trading down by around 0.5 to 1% uh, as of now. Then on the banking front, uh, State Bank of India has lost around 1% whereas HDFC Bank which will announce its numbers tomorrow is trading up by around 1%. IT front, uh, Infosys is set to re release its results tomorrow and is trading down by around 1% um, as of now. The first performing sectors for today is the auto sector as uh, shares of m and uh, Bajaj Auto, Hira Motor Corp, Bo all at Maruti, all are trading down in the range of around 1-2% to as of now. On the rupee dollar front, uh, the rupee is trading at flat levels at around 53.1%. That's it friends from the mid-market review. We'll catch you in the post-market session. Thank you and have a nice trading day.